Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, Director of Marketing Communications for Cuisinart. Today we're going to talk about stand mixers. This is Cuisinart's 7 quart 1000 watt power stand mixer. It has fabulous features that other stand mixers don't have. First and foremost, like I mentioned, it's 7 quarts. It has a beautiful um, stainless steel bowl that mounts onto the, food, onto the stand mixer by just twisting and turning. It has a beautiful splash guard with a pour spout. You'll notice that our splash guard totally seals the bowl so that when you have anything in here like flour or liquid that you're mixing, um, it won't splash out. Plus, you can add ingredients through the pour spout. It has 12 variable speeds. You just use this dial to move the speeds. And when I say variable, you can have it on um, speed one and then move it very easily to another speed and you don't have to stop the machine in between. It also has a 15 minute countdown timer that you program. So if you're making something that you need to mix for say four minutes, you basically program it, it mixes for you, you can go attend to something else, the machine will stop and beep to let you know it's done. We also have a really great fold feature. And that is really important when you're doing some types of baking that you want to um, really gently mix the food. It mixes it very slowly at the lowest speed, it goes around about one and a half times and then it stops. You can also um, use it kind of as a pulse action if you wish. The other thing that's really great about this mixer is it has many um, power ports. It has two in the top and one in the front. The one in the front you're able to mount a meat grinder or a pasta attachment so you get lots of great extras with this. And those attachments you can buy separately. It also has a mid-speed outlet, which is used for our citrus juicer attachment. And it has a high-speed outlet, which is used for our blender and proprietary food processor attachment. So you just close the lid. And what we're going to do today is we're going to use the whisk attachment to make um, basically a mousse. The other thing that our stand mixer comes with is a dough attachment to make bread dough or even bagels. You can use the flat paddle for any kind of mixing. So say you're going to make a meatloaf or you're going to um, do something like um, cookies. You use your stand mixer to do cookies. That's great for that. All of our removable parts go right into the dishwasher. And also our um, attachments that you use with the um, stand mixer, these here specifically, are specially coated so that it's really easy to get sticky foods off of it, like cookie dough. The other thing it comes with is our spatula, which is contoured to the shape of the bowl. We also have a great DVD right here, which comes with your, your stand mixer. We recommend that you watch it. It has great tips and techniques on there. It also has a, lots of recipes for you to make at home. It also comes with a great IB. And now I'm going to show you how to make a fabulous dessert in just seconds. First, I'm going to turn on my stand mixer. I'm going to put it on a medium speed say four. Just to get started, I'm going to pour the heavy cream right through the pour spout. And what we're going to do is we're going to let that mix for about two minutes. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually engage the um, countdown timer. So you hold your finger down until it starts to blink and then you just tap it for two minutes. And then what will happen is it will actually stop blinking. That lets you know that it's engaged and then you turn on the stand mixer. And then we can go do something else. So let's check our whipped cream. Just lift the lid and here's our whisk attachment, which I'll show you. I'm gonna just take this off so you can see how gorgeous that whipped cream looks. Now what I'm gonna do is show you how to use the fold feature. I'm gonna add the ganache to this mixture, which is basically, um, melted chocolate with a little bit of cream in it. It's going to add that and then what we're going to do is use the fold feature and you're going to see how great that works. Put down the head of the mixer and then we're going to actually do this on I want to say maybe a medium speed. And the other thing that you'll notice is it just goes around once, like I said, one and a half times, but um, the fold feature works on the lowest speed, so it doesn't matter what speed you put it on. That's something I should mention. So we're just going to continue to use the fold feature so that our um, mousse is delicately mixed. So we're just going to mix that using the fold feature. 
until it's totally incorporated. Let's take us a, a few tries. And I think we have it. So let's lift our lid and take a look at our mousse. Look how gorgeous that is. It's a nice, milky, chocolatey color. And all you have to do is, believe it or not, put it in a beautiful container like this and put maybe some strawberries on top or even some mint and you'll have an absolutely fabulous, elegant dessert in no time. And there you have it, chocolate mousse.